So this will make it so much easier for all of you from abroad who are not EU or German citizens to be able to find a job here. Hello Susanne, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day so far. Today I'm actually going to be sharing with you more information on the Skilled Workers Immigration Act that it's about to come into effect on March 2020. So it's a very, very exciting time for anyone who is interested in moving to Germany to find a job here and gain full-time employment. So let's jump into everything in case you are in the process of wanting to move here or you are thinking about getting a job in Germany. So I first talked about this law or this act that was going to come into effect over a year ago. Now when it was first announced, there wasn't too much information uh, released about it except for the fact that it was designed for skilled workers. But now that it's about to launch, obviously there's a lot more insight and I wanted to give you the scoop on it. So the law is specifically designed for non-EU skilled workers to be able to find a job in Germany a lot easier. This law actually allows for employers not to give priority just to EU and German citizens. So if you are a skilled worker, then you have a very high chance of getting a job even if you're not from the EU or Germany. Germany currently has 1.2 million jobs that are unfilled and they are looking to fill out within the next couple of years. And apparently once this act does come into effect, it's going to be estimated that 25,000 workers will be brought in from abroad annually. So there is a huge, huge opportunity for you, again, if you are planning to move here, so it's very, very exciting. So some of you may be wondering what exactly a skilled worker is, and there's actually two categories. The first one is if you have professional training, and the second one is if you have academic training, so if you actually received higher education to specialize in that field. And some of the fields that are very, very highly in demand are nurses, IT specialists, uh, those in the STEM professions, craftsmen. So there are a bunch of opportunities. This is just a very small list that I have mentioned. So I will actually go ahead and leave a link down below to the official federal government's website where they actually talk a bit more about this and they answer a lot more specific questions that you may have such as whether or not you're able to move over with a spouse or if you are over the age of 45 are you able to qualify for this particular um, skilled workers act so all of that information will be listed below for you but that's essentially how it will work and how the government will distinguish whether or not you qualify as a skilled worker. So one, if you either have the professional training or two, the academic training. Another question that you may be wondering is if you need a visa. Now, if you are from the following countries, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, US, along with some of the other ones that I will list right over here, um, you don't need a visa prior to entering the country. However, once you get to Germany, you do need to apply for a residence permit that allows you to actually look for a job for six months without having to leave. So it will allow you to go through the whole interview process and find a job that suits you the best here. Now, if you're not from these countries, you do need to apply for the resident permit in your home country at the German consulate. And you will have to prove, of course, that you either have the professional training or the academic training and you will then receive your residence permit if you qualify and your degree qualifies as well. And then the process is essentially the same. You're able to come to Germany and stay here for six months until you find a position. So this will make it so much easier for all of you from abroad who are not EU or German citizens to be able to find a job here. Now, another thing that I did find interesting is that while you're looking for a job, you are able to work in Germany for up to 10 hours per week on probation, or you're able to do an internship as well so that you can start building up your skills even more. Um, and then of course, once you do receive a job here, 
Um, you'll just have to get a regular work visa, but at that point, your company or the HR department within your company will be able to facilitate that process for you and guide you through it as well. So yeah, this is very exciting times, you guys. I'm very happy that Germany is making it a lot easier for non-EU or German citizens to be able to find a job here and be able to use their skills that they've gained in their home country. Um, so I'm very stoked for you. If you are thinking about moving here, I will leave again the links to the official government website where they talk more in depth and answer more specific questions that you may have. If you are looking to apply for jobs here, wondering how to structure your CV and you know what day-to-day -day life is like and how you can settle in in Germany, um, I also have an ebook that I created with all of the insights that I have gathered throughout my three years of living here. So it will be linked down below as well if you are interested in getting it. But thank you so much. I'm so excited to hear about your journey and I will talk to you all in my next one. Tschüss.